Hey everyone, join that video. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the iPad by 16.2 beta 4. Yeah, beta 4. And here's the thing, I have already made so much videos about the iPad by 16.1 betas, even two betas too. But this one is all about stability. So any changes that I'm gonna talk about here are like finalized ones. So if you really love the whole monitor support and all those things that you can see right over here, then this is the final time you should join because this is so stable. I have not lost any data, so you should join it. Now, if you're thinking how to join, how to get that beta on your device, and if you don't like it, how to get rid of that beta, then there is a video already uploaded on my channel. You can check out that one if you want. And if you don't know, I've already requested Resolve to add me in beta testing so i'm gonna test the next release next beta release of the davinci resolve on ipad and i'm gonna give you some reviews about it or my thoughts on it so definitely subscribe to this channel for that if you want if you want these wallpapers then definitely i will link down below the wallpaper or you can just visit my website it looks good so the ipad by 16.2 beta 4 actually got few new changes but they are very minor. So I've already showcased almost all the features that you can expect from the iPad 16.2 operating system. Now, this is a stubborn application, as you guys know. But the problem is that this beta still doesn't allow you to go full screen. But as you can see, like I can go, but there is a trick to do it. So what you're going to do is like you're going to stretch it like this way and you're going to leave it. It will go smaller. And this is even problematic for small applications like iPhone applications like uh, Instagram or uh, any other things like that. Uh, one of them would be uh, my AC remote application. Um, this one goes as big as this one. I, I think it is fine for most of people. But when you try a little bit like you want to stretch it out a little bit and it will go smaller and there is no way you can get it to that big. But slowly with this operating system, like iPad was 16.4 beta, you can actually put it in quite a bit of sizes. Not there is a huge like uh, customization options, but it is still better than what it was in the past. So you can go this big if you want. And if you want the maximum big, then you have to hold it like this way and leave it. So you have to stretch it out from the corners and you have to be a little gentle with it because if you just try to be like a little haphazard it will go smaller snap back it's just too odd but if you want just a bit bigger like let's say this big leave it right there it will correct itself okay so that's the thing this is the same formula that is applied onto the stubborn applications as well now you if you don't know about the stubborn applications i've already talked about them in my past video like let's say you want to go like this way this is a portrait mode of the settings and this can't go full screen. Now, if you're thinking of, let's say, a normal flexible application, let me give you a small little example of this one. Now, this application, if you want to go to bigger or smaller, then there are tons of ways. Like you can go this small, you can go this big, this wide, this wide, even this wide, or probably this big, probably this big, probably this much. However you want, there is a way. Now, it is still a snapping, snapping kind of feel is there, but it is much, much better than the iPad OS 16.1 or even the stable variant of the iPad OS 16.1 as of the moment. So I don't know where it is running. iPad OS 16.1.2 is released already. So I don't know. But whatever the uh, released version as of now is, it's still not as good as this one. This is just freaking good. Now, you still can move this thing. Like if I want to move this window right over here, it's not possible. It will snap back to its place that is the middle the center of the display which is still stupid but if you put two applications let's say um if i want uh this one you can place it anywhere you want let's say you want this big okay or you probably want th this is where you're gonna put it and you probably want it to be this small now if you want to add windows then i have already showcased this in the past video but i'm gonna i'm not gonna let you watch that video but rather i'm gonna show you right here click add another window and then let's say if i click on the settings or the ac mode those two were in a pair as you can remember just a minute ago i paired them so now the whole pairing will be attached with this pairing you get what i'm trying to say like they will all be in a group now this is a good feature though but there is one other thing you have to know that um, this will still not allow you to have like five or six applications at all. Like uh, the moment that you add like three applications at once, uh, like using this feature, uh, it will actually put uh, one of these two features, let's say the files and this uh, studio application, one of them will go to the background, like they, that will get minimized. Now, that doesn't mean, the minimize doesn't mean that it is getting shut off by any means. No, it is still working behind the scenes. Like let's say if you're exporting a LumaVision file, you can still move on to some other applications and it will still do the job, but it is still unpredictable. 
sometimes it does the job sometimes it just crashes so at this moment because it's still a beta variant so i will still not say you to do that but if you want you can probably now one of the application one of the thing that you probably don't know is that you can actually drag it from here to the ipad now you probably can't see the ipad because let me move this thing right here you can see now this is where you can move and as you can see this is coming to this window so you can do this now this is available since the ipad was 16.1 i've showed it like long time back when i was covering the ipad was 16.1 beta but many people are thinking that this is this is coming with the ipad was 16.2 but it is actually came with the ipad was 16.1 beta which had a full monitor support now that is getting confusing i know that but this is something that you have to know that there are very few changes i've seen the stability has gotten to a point where like i feel like this is real real stable like if you love stage manager the way it is you're gonna love this whole ipad 16.2 because the monitor support everything is stable but that doesn't mean there are no crashes i have seen immediate crashes after installing the ipad 16.2 beta for tons of time like three or four times i saw crashes now it still might occur at this moment but what i'm saying here is that these crashes doesn't mean the system is crashing or anything like that you're not gonna lose any data i haven't lost while using this ipad 16 beta since the first day like it's been three months probably the point is here is that it will reset to the home screen like uh this way it would just go come to this point and it will also come to the home screen of the ipad that's probably it then you can open the applications and it will still run at the background so no problem if you are thinking then you should join the beta program that i think you definitely should because it just it's so stable it's so good look at this one like the full monitor but this is a 2k 27 inch um monitor it is a uh, gaming monitor it has 144 hertz uh like capabilities but it is still running at 60 hertz max so the ipad however you want it will only output 60 hertz at this moment so no way to access the 120 hertz or anything like that and the best part is that the applications have gotten better like tons of applications like there's one application i want to show you so this application is a sketchbook now this application had tons of problems i've showcased it in my last video but now it has gotten an update after a really really long time then now it doesn't do the stupid thing that it used to do now you can have this menu without any kind of hesitations so like you just can click on this one and you can wait as much as you want and then you can still import or export do all the stuffs but you still can do the zooming that is still stupid it, it is still not supporting i don't know how to do it you can do it on the ipad easily like with your fingers but with uh, like the mouse cursor it is not possible maybe with the trackpad it will be because uh, you know the, even the zoom shortcuts doesn't work over here if i type if i press the cmd plus plus or minus it doesn't work at all it works on the other applications it doesn't work over here no way it will um no as you can see but one thing is that i one thing i'm seeing is that the developers are giving updates to their providing updates to their applications to support to better support the stage manager as well as this uh, external monitor thing um so this is pretty good that the developers are doing something and this is a flexible application by the way you can go smaller bigger however you want but too small doesn't make you do anything anyway just you need to go at least this big but that's still good now resolve on the other hand will be a stubborn application at least in the starting that's what i've heard and seen that resolve will not go to full screen it will just go just like the settings it will behave like the settings like how the setting is behaving it's the same thing it will go as big as sorry not, not this small but it will usually stay that but you can go as big as this one it will not be able to uh fully cover the whole uh, like screen like let's say you can do it with the luma fusion let's say you can go as big as you want you can go smaller bigger it's pretty good like let me give you a small little example you can go this big smaller and then on top of that you have the flexibility of this one this whole ui changes itself um, adapting but thing but is there but you know the result will not have this thing so that's another stupid problem but one of the things that i have to say at this moment is that with resolve this is the first time we're seeing a professional desktop application on an ipad like fully fledged desktop application coming to ipad even though it is missing still one or two features but they are coming soon like the fusion page or fusion page or even the fairlight page so that is making me more excited about the ipad OS and its future like we might see final cut or logic over here and that will just change the whole game and probably mac OS as well we don't know so yeah, that's about it. If you want to see more episodes like this, then definitely do like this video 
and do subscribe this channel. Also, visit my website, joindavid.com, link down below. It's for everything. Right? You're gonna get all these and more techniques way, way faster than these videos. So definitely visit it. You can also find a lot of 8K wallpapers over there. So why not? Just visit it. Until the next episode, bye and take care.